Hey guys, such a great call to listen in on. This was really a textbook for sale by owner call. If you want to see the script that I'm using, it's in the link in the description below uh, and you can follow along with the same script that I'm using. But again, textbook for sale by owner call. Now in this guy's case, I was able to net him like 30 to 40 grand more than what he was asking, but you only need to net them 3% more to get the listing. And you can follow the same script I'm using. And if you can't net them more, then you say, can I net you the most? So again, it's just changing words up a little bit, but our job at the end of the day is to provide the most amount of value to the for sale by owner. And you'll see how I use my script to really showcase my value. Hope you guys enjoy this call. Hello? Hi, I was calling about your property for sale in Paintsville. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, my name's David. I, I am a realtor. I was just seeing if you're allowing agents to bring you a buyer for the property. Uh, sure. Wonderful. Are you guys offering any type of commission for that or? Oh, certainly. We would negotiate that. Sure. Okay. All right. Wonderful. And then photos on the interior. Is there going to be any photos of the interior of the property? Yeah, we're working on getting on Zillow in the MLS right now. So there's, well, we're going to get some pictures up soon here. Got you. So you are putting it on the MLS just through a, like a flat fee person or through an agent? Yes, yes, yeah. Through a flat, flat fee place called, uh, and you've probably heard of it, Ohio Broker Direct. Yeah, yeah, we've we've dealt with them before. Um, yeah, yeah. Cool. All right, well, we'll uh, see what we can do. Worst case scenario, if it doesn't sell in the next month or two, is it going on the market at that time? Probably, or with an agent? probably yeah. Gotcha. I mean, we're, we're having a house built, so we, uh, we definitely have an end date. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Only reason I we just we sell quite a bit in that area, and we just sold two up the road for around that three fifty price. But yours is way bigger than than these two. So yeah, yeah, I know we're. I mean, I mean, we're not the biggest house in the whole neighborhood, but I know we're one the biggest, one of the biggest. Oh yeah, I mean, so. yeah. By I mean, you're almost triple what they are, and we sold that at three fifty. So. Yeah, yeah, well, I mean, I know, I mean, well, hey, I'm not telling you anything. I mean, we just need the right buyer who, who wants something with five bedrooms. Yeah. That kind of stuff. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, if, if it does get to that point, are you guys open to potentially putting it on the market if we can net you that same 430 price, maybe in the next month or two, or? Oh, probably so, sure, sure. I mean, we had it, I mean, I don't know if you do this, but we had it with a realtor for, for 90 days, which, you know, I guess in back years ago, 90 days wasn't so bad, right? Right. Um, but you know, in our opinion, they did nothing. Yeah, they did absolutely nothing. Never showed the house. Wow. I mean, it, it's been a waste of ninety days, in my opinion. That's sad. That they and we got the release seen. from them stuff, so we're we're out of that contract. That said, did they even have photos up of the property? Like, oh more? yeah, okay, yeah. good. Yeah, I mean, there was there was photos. I mean, yeah, gotcha. It was on this Howard Hanna page and stuff. And we actually have still some printouts and stuff like that of what they what they have, but. I mean, yeah. If, yeah, I, we do have photos. I mean, you know, if uh, I mean, if you want to, like, um, it's going to be their flyer, but it's not photos. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we could send you photos. I mean, if if you want to see photos. Yeah, if you don't mind. Yeah, I mean, I I just pulled up the previous listing that they had. It seems like they wildly overpriced it to begin with, and then they try to slowly well, you know, it I, down. You can blame the very initial one on me. Oh, you okay. Know? Uh, but you know, I wasn't. We weren't getting any what I'd call good guidance on it, you know I mean? Yeah. I, I looked at as many comps as they could give me, you know, and I looked at the average size and the average age and average square foot price, all this kind of stuff. So I'm like, okay, well, hey, you know, hey, I know that was a uh, reaching for the sky kind of initial price. Understood. Well, if you're not getting guidance, uh, but, I mean, that's not right, your I fault. I thought our most recent price was a pretty fair price. I, I think so too. I mean, I, I almost would say it's, it's too low, just, I mean, you not getting guidance probably is what did it, but yeah, that's, uh, you guys are definitely in, in the range right now. Um, uh, we thought so. I mean, we certainly thought so, and we think so now. I mean, you know, but, good. you know. Uh, no, it's, I'm happy for you guys. Well, we'll, uh, we'll see what we can do. Send those photos, and uh, is there a time I could potentially see the property, or when are you guys doing showings on the home? Uh, we're going to actually have an open house this Sunday, their plan. This Sunday. You know, so we'll have it ready, you know, uh, you know, I mean, hey, if there's a serious buyer, knowing what the price is, all of a sudden, if somebody's serious, we can certainly show it before that. Okay. All right. Wonderful. I, are, would you guys be open to just meeting with me, seeing if I could sell it for more, and then have it as a backup plan in the next month or two? Uh, sure, sure. But probably not this week. You know, again, we're just trying to get all the paperwork squared away so it's on the MLS and so it's officially, you know, at least listed right now. Hey, you know, I think that's, that's a great idea. Open house.
Would you guys be able to do maybe Monday or Tuesday? Tuesday's probably my my best time next week. Uh, I mean, of next week, probably. You know, why don't you? I mean, obviously, uh, you have my number. Why don't you text me your contact information, or I'll. I'm glad to give you my email address. You know. Um, yeah. What's a good email? Oh, is it? Uh, my wife says it's already on Zillow. At least the, that kind of information. I mean, my obviously got my cell phone number from there, and my email address should be on the site. But um, I'll give it to you. Okay. Is it it's, the William? Yeah. Exactly. It's William. Gosh, I, I got it right here. I will, uh, yeah, I'll shoot you an email on my contact info. I'll text you my email and then we'll, uh, we'll follow up early next week and see when we can get in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but we're obviously open to talk to a realtor who has, you know, a good buyer. I mean, we, we obviously understand that there's costs involved. So we would certainly talk about giving a realtor who brings somebody in commission. Yeah, so my my game plan would be to try to bring a buyer. Obviously, that makes my job a lot easier and makes your job a lot easier. But typically, I I give the option of worst case scenario, two months from now, if we could sell it for more, net you the same. If if we could be the the first backup plan for you. Yeah, yeah, we can certainly talk about that. And I mean, yeah, I mean, we know we 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 hopefully never have to get to that point. But yes, we want to have a backup plan. I don't think you will, but we'll uh, I'll see the property Tuesday and we'll uh, see what we could do then. All right, sounds good. Thanks, we'll have a going. Sure, thanks. Bye. Bye.